Hey guys, it's Chris here, and I just want to say before I get into this video, a very big thank you for all those that are watching, those that have subscribed. Uh, it means a lot to me that you guys are doing that. I, I truly appreciate it, and that, like I said, have more videos to come here, and hopefully uh, you stick with me. So pretty much with this video here, what I'm going to go over is the CM mechanics here for the new Kadeem, uh, the Peerless. The first thing that I do want to address is that I missed one of the mechanics where at 60% and below, uh, he does this certain attack where he targets one person out of the group. And then um, simply he does like three attacks towards them. However, when it comes to these attacks, you can actually time it so that uh, once he throws it at you, you can actually jump over it and you don't take damage from it or you don't damage anyone around you. Um, you just want to get used to the, the attack itself and then also when to jump uh, during those attacks here. Uh, let's go through the CM mechanics here. There's about three different changes. Uh, one to an existing mechanic and then three or two other added ones uh, in. Uh, now let's first address the first mechanic in terms of the change of uh, the CM mode here. The first one is going to be Skyhammer. Um, it doesn't change in itself necessarily. It's going to be always someone random. Uh, it could be the tank. It could be anyone here. The only thing that changes with the Skyhammer now is that if you get hit by the Skyhammer, you're going to leave a lava trail uh, behind you. So definitely you want to watch out for that. Uh, the lava trail you know, drops immediately, but you can run away from it. So it won't damage you. Now when it came to the last final uh, 30, 20, and for so on here percentage, uh, we actually had someone get hit by it and then leave a lava trail from one of the um, bigger circles, uh, you know, where the distortion spawns to Kadeem because we know that the walking path is going to be that. This ensures that you can just CC them on those fire trails, but again, that's something that if you want uh, feel comfortable doing, definitely you can do it. Uh, if not, then you can just zerg the distortions down from 30% uh, and on. Now the other mechanic that is added into this uh, this situation here is going to be the three tornadoes that aren't going to be rotating on the very outside of the circle here. The three tornadoes is always going to be there for the whole entire fight. If you touch it, it's an instant kill. Um, definitely do not want to go anywhere near that. And it's always going to be rotating at a clockwise manner here. Now for the last mechanic, it is going to have to pertain with uh, 40, 30, and 20% here. So this is going to be a big one here. Uh, this is only the major change in terms of the fight. Um, there really isn't any other changes outside of this here. At 40%, he consumes one of the pylons here, and you want to go to um, the indicated star on the screen. I'm going to show you on the screen here. Uh, it's the closest giant circle to the door or the entrance. The reason being is there's going to be a white circle that you everyone has to stand in, including the people on the pylons as well as the tank. Uh, if you're not standing in this by the time it... Uh, closes in, uh, then definitely you're going to just die instantly. However, if everyone does make it here, what's going to happen is someone randomly is going to be selected, and this also includes the tank here. So the tank isn't excluded from the people that are going to be uh, chosen, uh, but one person is going to be chosen, and they're going to be floated up in the air. And they're going to get this nice little cinematic here of a giant Kadeem with a meteor coming in. Um, so basically your job is just to do nothing until... Uh, people down below collect the orbs. Now the people down below is going to be um, going back to the pylon, CCing the pylons, and attacking Kadeem at this point. And remember, after you CC the pylons, uh, that Kadeem doesn't do a knockback here. But as you're collecting these uh, or CCing these pylons down, you also want to select or you know go over these orbs that spawn on the ground. Uh, the reason is that. Uh, the orbs basically give a special action key to the person that's floating up in the air. You just want to, as a, a random, just you just pick up as many orbs as you can. Eventually, what's going to happen is uh, the person floating up in the air is going to get a special action key to basically disrupt that meteor that's coming in from Kadeem. And you want to stop the meteor coming in from Kadeem because it's an instant wipe for the whole group. So you definitely want to collect those orange orbs as you're going out to CC these pylons. Uh, but once the guy has the special action key and then comes back to the group, um, basically you wait until 30%. Uh, the only major thing as well when it comes to these percentages, because pretty much it does stay the same other than that added mechanic, is that the only safe spot is going to be this you know, star location on the screen. I'm going to show it on the screen here. As well as also when we're in the run here, the only safe spot uh, at 40, 30, and 20%. Now, because this is the only safe spot here, what's going to happen is once he consumes the other two pylons, you are in range of his knockback after he drops the giant fire field. Uh, so you simply would just want to drop a or have stability or Aegis or so some sort of 
some sort of block to basically counteract the knockback that you're about to hit. But pretty much uh, once you have that, um, you know, stability down here for the 30 and 20 percent, uh, basically it's the fight doesn't change in terms of that. Um, you will float up in there or someone randomly will float up in there at 30 and 20 percent. Um, so again, remember, make sure you grab those orbs that spawn once uh, once you hit those percentages. But once you hit 20%, you uh, are going to go in the middle, basically, um, you know, zerk down the distortions and kill them until 0%. Um, otherwise, it doesn't really change in terms of the fight after that point. Well, there you go. That is pretty much uh, the mechanics of CM here for Kadeem the Peerless. Uh, hopefully, you enjoyed this video as much as the previous one. Uh, again, that video, if you haven't watched it yet, is going to be on the screen here. Um, definitely thank you for watching that and staying tuned and also subscribing to my channel here. So thank you for watching my video and you guys have a great rest of your day.